Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another thread up bulk box and buy sell trade trade in kind of video. I love watching these videos and I love making them. Now this is with the thread up kids 50 pound bulk box, which disclaimer, I have kids and I enjoy selling higher end kids clothing, especially kids shoes. So if neither of those two things fit you and your reselling and personal life, this might not be the box for you. However, I do think that I know I have made a lot of YouTube friends here and I have kind of taught them children's brands to pick up when you're at the bins and such. So I do think even if kids clothes isn't your jam, you could still stand to learn a thing or two. And just by watching it supports my channel. So I do appreciate it, especially if this is not your kind of thing. So I ordered this box that came very quickly. I believe it came from Georgia. I did have my husband open it and put it up on this box or on this because it is heavy. Um, let me see. Yes, this came from Georgia. It's $120, which is a bit pricey, but when you break it down per piece, which I will come back at the very end and tell you, I've never paid over like 80 to 85 cents per piece. Now, my last one of these, if you recall, maybe you didn't watch it, had a lot of baby clothes, like newborn through size 2T, like a lot, a lot. But I made extra little piles that we ended up selling locally on Facebook Marketplace because my buy-sell trade doesn't tend to take a lot of those. So I was a little disappointed in that last box. However, per usual, I still came out way ahead from what they did take at the buy-sell trade store traded in for items that were worth a lot more than what I got in this box. So my goal with this, this box is I have to drive, I have one favorite once upon a child that tends to give the most money. They have the best inventory. And I really, at this moment, don't have anything to take. I need to go to Close Mentor, which there's only one and it's right next door. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna order this. So it's kind of, let's do two things at once. I'll drop my stuff at Close Mentor for another video I need to finish up and this and We'll see what we can do. My other hope is to always get items for my own kids. I have three, they are ages seven, nine, and 11, but they wear sizes five, like four, five, seven, eight, and eight, 10. So the odds are good and I usually find a few things for them. So without further ado, let's dig in. I will tell you if it's something I'm going to keep, go to buy, sell, trade, or sell myself. Now to the last one, I maybe had 20 pieces I sold myself. I either just have to really love it or I would like it to bring me over $10. That's kind of my sell price if it's items that I have the option to take to buy, sell, trade. So without further ado, starting off well, looking in this box, um, I see a lot of big stuff, which I would much rather have the bigger kid stuff than tiny. So this is Carter's size 3T, brand new. Now, if this wasn't new with tags, this would definitely be a buy sell trade but because this is new with tags i actually have no troubles selling carters these are so cute it's a little sloth and they're fleece um this i'll definitely be able to sell these probably for like 15 dollars. so i would hit my 10 dollars. but this is something that i will keep to sell this is actually a good piece but it's not kids this is the brand cos I can't remember what that stands for, but this is a women's size large. Yeah, I like that. I am a medium large and this is definitely my size. And I think that this brand resells pretty well, but this is just a nice little solid black tee. <laughs> Random, but I'll probably keep that myself. Sometimes I complain if there's things in the box that aren't supposed to be, but not when it's something good. All right, these are glow. These are a junior size seven which usually this kind of stuff makes their way into the denim boxes or the bulk 200, but I am going to be going to a Play-Doh soon. So this will go in there because my buy sell trade does not take junior sizes. This is definitely a Lily L because your girl loves some Lily. So these are Lily Pulitzer size double zero jeans. Not, this is kids, right? Bulk mixed children. Okay, I don't know. They are to like double zero, that's tiny. But I mean, these are cute. I will definitely sell these. I mean, the buttons show a little bit of wear. The white has come off, but these are worth skinny jeans. Um, yeah, size double zero. So, I mean, they won't sell for much because they are a tiny size, but 
All right, it is better than a newborn onesie. I will give them that. But that means I'm gonna have less items with heavier, bulkier things, I don't know. Philadelphia Eagles, this also looks, oops, quite large. Uh, no, it says youth. A youth extra large, which is a size 18. Now I will list this because number one, it, it's kind of in new condition. Now you always might see flaws before I do, but it, it feels and doesn't look like it's really ever been washed. I'll always do another good look over, but my once upon a child doesn't tend to take the size 18 to 20 in boys, neither of the three locations. And anything branded like sports teams will usually sell. All right, here are some kids. Oh, another, this says Hallabaloo 2T, but this is definitely vintage baby gap. So I don't know, I don't know what this tag is. It's not what it is and it's not brand new. But yes, this is vintage um, size up to three months. This is cute. I will list these because I like selling a vintage baby gap. This also feels big. This is Banana Republic size small. Definitely not kids. I mean, I guess it could fit a boy's 1820 looking at it, but um, this is a really nice shirt. My Play-Dohs likes to have, oh, it smells nice too. <laughs> My Play-Dohs likes men's clothing. So I was looking to see if it had the date in there, but I'll put that in a Play-Dohs pile. Is this another one? It is. So whoever packed this box, I don't know, another Banana Republic size small. Now if there's like, I mean two, I have two of them. Maybe I'll just bundle those. I could make at least 10 bucks on those, I think. All right, we've got Abercrombie and Fitch, new with tag, size 24, double zero. Wow, these are so tiny. But Abercrombie is kind of a thing again, right? It was cool when I was in school. I don't see a date. I don't know if Abercrombie is one that puts a date on it, but these are like wide leg, which is better than skinny, like a cargo 24, double So... I don't know. Are these boys or girls? Men's or women's? I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know, but I will probably sell those. We've got Volcom size 28 slash 16. So I guess the size 20, my husband wears a 30 and he's definitely almost 40. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I don't know if my son will ever be a size 16. These are really nice. Look at the back. Maybe I'll, I'll check comps on these. My bicycle trade might take those just because they're nice, but look, they don't need to be steamed. They're in, um, look, they feel new. So, so far I'm not sad. Yes, there's some things that aren't kids, which is, this is not normal. FYI. This is like my maybe sixth time ordering this, sixth or seventh. This is not normal. And we have another Banana Republic size small shirt. So maybe I'll bundle all of those if they're in good shape. We've got an Adidas hoodie, also quite large. Uh, let's see. It just says small. So I think this is a women's small. Yes, definitely. So that might go in my Play-Doh's bin just because honestly, like Adidas doesn't do that well for me. All right. We've got some more Adidas, size small. Now, my, I might save these for my son in a size up bin for him because he loves to wear these kind of pants around the house. They'll be long, but I think I will put those in a pile for him. Oh my goodness, Joseph Abound, size 16. So that one, maybe the person who sent this in, this seems about actually the same size as those Banner Public Smalls. I think I will send this to buy, sell, trade. I don't even have anything in a buy, sell, trade yet pile for kids yet, do I? No, interesting. Okay, well, that's piece number one. And at the end of this, I will count up how many things I'm doing and with what and report back and stay tuned because I will let you know how many pieces they took, how much I got paid. My goal for buy, sell, trade for kids is a dollar a piece. Sometimes I do better, sometimes it's a little under, it just depends. Uh, and then 
my goal is to pick up a couple pieces and do a trade with that money and show you what I got. Okay, this, what are you? Ah, this is Justice size 10. This is cute. This is a perfect little on the boat beach little cover up thing. This is definitely for my daughter's style. So we'll keep that. That's the cool thing about these boxes is to get things for your own family and still make a profit. Like my kids' wardrobes are essentially free. Right before this video, I know, squirrel, if you're new here, I tell stories sometimes. I just made a $115 order from Gap. They have some great sales going on and it cost me, so my subtotal, whatever the total before my discounts was $550, which is insane for 15 pieces. And after everything was said and done, I used a thread up credit, which basically I send in a bunch of the crap that they send me. Literally, that's what I, the only things I send in. And I got $115 on a gift card. So I think $11 charged my card with taxes and all of that. So my kids really do dress for free. All right, this is the brand Sequin Heart Girls. I don't know, it's a size large. This is like grainy looking. <laughs> This will definitely go to buy, sell, trade. I see a Champion C9, $16.99, shrink resistant. This is a girl size medium, 810. We don't really do vests here. We don't do layering. I'm in Orlando. Um, so this is a, even though it's new with tags, C9 is not gonna bring a lot. That will be a good one for buy, sell, trade. We've got Old Navy size extra large, 14 a girl's top. It needs lint rolled for sure. A tip for buy, sell, trade, whether it's the kid's store or Play-Dohs. Um, this is from fall of 2018. Your Old Navy, Gap, American Eagle, a lot, Madewell, all of that stuff will have the date. If it's not within two or three years, I rip it out. Done, easy peasy. And because this is just a black shirt, like the style could have been from this year and they won't take it if it's, you know, anyway, that's a tip. It'll help them take more from you. This definitely is going to be justice. I feel it. Yes. Justice size 10 again. What does it say? Swim. That's cute. Maybe you're on like a swim team or something. I did swim team in high school. Random fun fact. Um, but that's, I mean, it's my daughter's size, but that'll go to buy sell trade. It's a new condition. Here's Koala Kids 18 months. Our first tiny piece, which be warned. I have gotten multiple boxes that was filled with nothing but this size of items. So this is not always what's going to happen. 18 months, that will definitely go to buy some trade. That's something quite large again. This is Fancy Cube. This is definitely Amazon. It's a size medium. Um, this is some kind of like anime. I will see if they take it again. Larger boys items just don't have the best look. Pop Sugar, size large. That definitely just seems like women's. Yes, this is definitely women's. Um, well, I'm going to close mentor right next door. So that is going to go in the close mentor bin. Oh, these are cute. Cat and Jack, this is a Target brand that sometimes I do sell. It's not always gonna bring me that $10 mark, uh, but oftentimes it does and it sells quickly. It's a very much a brand that has a loyal following. How cute are these? These stars are like embroidered. These are like in new condition. Target also has the dates. These are from last year, last spring, 2021. Um, I could sell these, but I have a lot of inventory. While they would be really cute to list, jeans are always on the heavy side. Um, I will put these, I have a little loose string. Um, I always go through again and make sure I clip any strings and stuff off. But if buy, sell, trade doesn't take these, I will sell them myself. All right, this is the brand Munster, size eight. I don't think I've heard of that, but it has an embroidered, it seems like a small shop, a, a nice quality one, but this is cute. This is my daughter's size. So for now, we'll keep it 100% cotton from Vietnam, Munster. I don't know, I'll have to look it up though. But We'll keep it. It'll eventually get listed after it goes through my next kid. Ooh, this is a cute little jacket. This is B in Tech Sport, size small. Don't know. Oh, this 70% um, down feathers. So 
Usually I, that means I would list it myself, but I hate when things just say small. Like this is like an 18 months, you know, where small could be like a little kid five, six. I don't know. I will be in tech sport. I will put this in a pile to look up. And if they have a website, if that's actually something and they have a size chart, I will list it. Otherwise, that'll definitely go to buy, sell, trade. Ooh, this is pretty. This is Zara, size nine. Ooh, is it Zara boys or girls? don't know, but I have two kids that can wear size nine, so I will probably keep that for now. This, let's speed this up a little. This is Nike Dry Fit Extra Small, perfect thing for buy, sell, trade. Christmas, uh-oh, throwing stuff. Oh boy. Uh, this is One Step Up, size seven, eight. I hate this kind of Sherpa material. Look, it always gets stuff, and my kids, love to play so yeah i will like pick this stuff out of it and although it's super cute definitely my kid's size she would love it it's got to go because look it just gets at their school they have mulch and yeah that will have to go all right this is cat and jack size 10 12. this is just a plain old basic i will keep that just because it's good to have for layering well, aren't you cute? This is Tommy Hilfiger, size two, three. It's a, well, is it a dress? I think it's a dress. Yes. That is very cute. It looks like it might have some color bleed. It'll go to buy, sell, trade. This is Old Navy Active, size 14. I definitely have clothes through size 10, 12, but it's gonna take my daughter a while to get there. So this will go to buy, sell, trade. They already cut out the inner tag. Cat and Jack size 10, 12. This is cute. Just a very basic long sleeve. This is about as layering as we get here in Florida. You'll wear one of these instead of a jacket, maybe for two weeks out of the year. Arena. I don't know what Arena is, but it has a QR code on the back. Are these, they feel like swim but they've got um, the plastic in there. Maybe they're for like wrestling. I don't know, I'll leave this out just to look it up just because I'm curious. This, ooh, a set. Now that's rare to find a set. This is Firehouse, size small. Hmm, I can't tell if this was cut off or supposed to be like that. I don't really know but this is a cute set like a pajama so maybe I'll throw that in my daughter's pajama bin because I it's very pilled it's just that material that gets pilled naturally so they probably wouldn't take that anyway whatever this is I can't get to it okay we've got okie dokie size six my mom is my stylist that's perfect for my youngest that's her t-shirt size we've got old navy swim trunks from 2020, they feel brand new. Buy, sell, trade. Oh, this is cute. Okie dokie again, size six. So these are the items that I love to get in these boxes. Uh, they're not expensive. I mean, to buy it new, they're like probably five or six dollars, but to pay less than a dollar, it's in great condition. I'll throw it in the wash. This is a great school shirt for my kid. All right, Hamilton, established 1812. I don't know, is that a place? Um, That'll go to buy, sell, trade, but I'm really glad that I don't, sometimes you'll get a ton of these. Little onesies. Cat and Jack size 12 months. These are really cute and holiday-ish. Hopefully they'll take those. Ooh, this feels good. Uh, 32 degrees, size seven, eight. Perfect shirt for my middle. Look, I'm super happy so far. Carter's Kids, size six. This is exactly what I hope to get in these boxes. And also if these items weren't my kid size, these are perfect for buy, sell, trade because they are in, this is like in brand new condition. Like, you know how you feel the graphic, you can tell they've not been washed, but my kids are getting a new second half of the school year wardrobe. Oh, well, Janie and Jack size four, a brand I love to pick up when it's 
the right price because it will almost always sell. This is just a little chambray button up, perfect for um, this time of the year, holiday photos. I will actually probably list that myself. Why? Because it doesn't need to be ironed. It will take two seconds to list and I will definitely be able to get my $10 for that. This is all in motion, size 16, brand new with the tag, retailed for a whopping $8. Um, that'll go to buy, sell, trade. But what I'm going to do is just crack off the $8. That will go. Oh, we've got a little mini mouse shirt, size 40. That will go. Overalls. These are cute. Wonder Nation, which is Walmart, but Walmart has been making some very cute kids clothes. The quality isn't there, but the cuteness factor is. Definitely for like one season. I don't buy Walmart clothes for my kids because resale value, you can't sell them online and buy, sell, trade, they'll take it, but they, they, they don't wash well. So it's usually those are just gonna not make it to the next. But look how cute these are. And these don't feel like they've been washed. So I think buy, sell, trade, I'm gonna do good this time around. Wonder Nation, size six, seven. So like they almost always take this type of item. I see tons of Walmart there, but I might get 30 cents for that because you get 30% of whatever they're gonna sell it for and they might list that for $2.99. Oh, these are long. Abercrombie, size 15, 16. I don't think they even take that size. Um, yeah. But to be honest, I will probably put these up in this. I've got a size 12, 14 size up bin for my son in the top of his closet. I'll probably toss those up there. These are some pajama bottoms, 2T. They won't take just bottoms, so we'll see. That's my, so far, my first donate. Nothing has had stains, rips, tears, and that's crazy. All right, okie dokie, size nine months. Cherokee, size 3T, super cute. Target doesn't make that anymore. Oh, baby bagosh. This is Oshkosh, size 12 months, little jeans. They typically always take jeans in the tiny sizes. Onesies, very hit or miss. Lands in, size large, 14, 16. Um, this too, my son sometimes has to dress up for things, although he does prefer like the performance. You know what? I'll send this to once upon a child. It needs to be ironed. And this, this mom, we don't iron in this house. If it has to be ironed, uh, we don't wash it. We buy it. And I know ever, some people always wash their new with the tags, but if it has to be iron, it'll just never happen. This is Nautica, size extra large. Same thing. We'll see if they'll take that. Leverage Basketball Academy. Is that a school? Oh, I don't know. It's new with the tags. This feels nice. Curated for the cool kids. House, how H-A-U-S of junior.com size 10. I don't know. This feels like super good. So I will look that up. If it's nothing, it'll go to buy, sell, trade. This is Arizona jeans, new with the tag, retail for $30. Big kids, 18, 20. Again, maybe with, I know I will button these up, but maybe with the holidays coming, they will accept some of these bigger sizes. Banana Republic again, size small. Okay, this now that makes number four. That's my look up pile. So I think I will bundle those together in what? Four Banana Republic, nice buttoned up. Can I make 25 bucks on those? We'll see. Ooh, this feels lovely. But the tag was cut. Oh, but it's Ralph Lauren. I mean, this feels like down, like really nice, but is it reversible? Yes, it's reversible, but the problem is there's no size, not even in the pockets. Like it had a tag on both sides that you had to cut out. So what do I do with this? Because I have no idea. I mean, I guess I could have my son try it on, but he's so skinny. I don't know. But this feels like without knowing the, you know, is it really down or whatever, that's probably just going to go to buy, sell, trade, even though that would be a good one for me to sell. Children's Place, size small. That's a cute little sweater. Buy, sell, trade. You guys, this is all like perfect sizing. Joy Lab, size extra small. Oh, this is cute. I bet my youngest would like to wear this to hip hop class. This is like sheer. The sleeves are totally sheer. 
both my girls dance and they're they take hip hop is the one class they take together they're so dang cute yeah she'll like that for hip hop Ooh, a columbia jacket oh yes it's a good columbia not all columbia is created equal in the reselling world but this is columbia with the omni heat it's got like the shiny foil looking stuff inside this is a medium a medium I think this is maybe women's medium. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe kids. I hate when I have to do research on sizing situations. <laughs> um, but they definitely have like a kids, like a size chart. There's some numbers here I can look up. It definitely needs, it needs a little wash. There's some dirt, typical dirt for a, a jacket around the sleeves and stuff. But I'll list that one. If it was a Columbia fleece I would send it to buy sell trade mud size 10 those are cute my kids are so skinny we, we can't even hardly do jeans um those will go to buy sell trade oh my gosh what are you look at this ah, Cheetos hot fries a hoodie this is like the perfect length for floor or length weight it's very thin I feel like my three kids would absolutely fight over this. They all love Takis and hot Cheetos. They get that from their dad. I do not eat any of that. I want some cool ranch Doritos. That's about as spicy as it gets. All right, Cat and Jack size 10, 12. Oh, this is cute. Metamorphosis. This is a girl's shirt, so we will keep that one. Ooh, Ralph Lauren. This is like that, um, not gingham, but like, it's very preppy, has a name. This is cute. I could, see, I could list this one myself and yes, I list wrinkly stuff, but I just don't, nope. I hope they take it. All right, we got Carter's 24 months, another little button up. You definitely need to have all your stuff buttoned up and looking good, so I will do that after this video when I'm counting. We have a dress, Gap Kid size extra small, which I believe is usually four or five. This is precious. My daughter does not need any more dresses, even though she could fit into this. This is from 2017. Ticking stripe. Take that out of there. All right, so this will go to buy, sell, trade. Oh, but it's so cute. We are like halfway done. This video is gonna be long. All right, a jacket. We always get at least one of these. Crew Cuts, that's a good brand. That is J. Crew's kids line, but it looks like the size tag was maybe cut out. However, this, I love a good pair of jeans with a jacket like this for like a Christmas party. This looks like my son's size. I'm gonna have him try that on, you know, after he moans and groans about it because trying on clothes is like the worst thing ever. We'll see. If it doesn't fit him, if I can't find a size and it doesn't fit him, It'll go to buy, sell, trade. Otherwise, if I can find a size, I'll sell that. This is just one of these TJ Maxx cheapy brands, some kind of Chenault girl. Size small, six. This is definitely my daughter's size, but we have so many dresses right now. I'm trying to be like more picky. And the tool's in great shape. These cheapy dresses, the tool really gets messed up easily with washes. It has a little, t that'll go to buy, sell, trade. They'll love that. I'll get me a pair of shoes to sell. That's the more smart, responsible thing to do. Seven for all my, mankind, three to six months. Hopefully they take this because it's more of a substantial piece than like a Carter's onesie. Ooh, this looks like a mama item. This is Iviva Kids, which is Lululemon's little girls active brand. How cute is this back? Like I would wear this. Um, the size tag was cut. I don't think they do size dots and little kid stuff, do they? Regardless, this is really cute. I will, this is probably a size 10, 12. So that'll go in the size up for my own kid. And we've got pants. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 16, 28 waist. Hey babe, I saw him. I was gonna let him know that he uh, wears size clothes of a 16 year old child. These are cute. Oh, they need to be washed. There's definitely some food residue, but that looks like it will come out. Thought I'd go to buy, sell, trade. Ooh, this feels nice. I love little shirts like this for myself. 
All in Motion. That's why I love it. I, All in Motion and Joy Lab from Target. I really like. This is a uh, girls size 10, 12. Girls? Yes. Yeah, it's got a little high-low. We'll keep that one. What I need to do is pull out my size up bins and see how I'm looking. All right. This is Girls 14, 16 Champion. Um, I will send that one there because that's too many years away. All right, this is a art class, another Target kids brand that I love, size seven, eight. This is actually perfect for hip hop once it gets a little colder. They're supposed to wear oversized clothes, so that will be great for the two weeks it's cold, remember. Ooh, new with tags. This feels nice, what are you? Forever 21 girls, size 11, 12, like an eyelash little sweater. This is cute, but too many years away, Amanda. Let it go, be like Elsa today. All right, we got Old Navy, size medium eight. That's an eight? Seems very small, but this is cute. My daughter will love that. She, I have one who's like a little fashionista. She does layers. I mean, she puts these whole deals together. She'll think that's cute for the holiday season. This is Minnie Mouse. Don't see a size. There's some leggings. Um, those will go. Some little pom poms. Cat and Jack, size four or five. Oh my gosh, so cute. We'll keep that for my youngest. She can wear a little crop top. She's so short. She's seven and a half and she's 47 pounds. And she's so short. I love it. She's like three to four inches shorter than my other two at the same age. And she's projected to be five foot nothing. We call her pocket size. She's adorable. And I love it because she's the baby. And so she's just still tiny. And it makes me feel like she's younger than she is. We can still shop in the toddler section. And she's in the second grade. I like it. All right. Old Navy size six, seven. Just a cute little floral top. Don't really personally like the stripes. So that will go. All right, thanks for sticking with me. If you're still here, give me a like. It really helps out my channel, the people say. All right, Old Navy, size eight, kind always. Oh my gosh, I just read an email before I started this video that Wednesday at our kids' school is Unity Day. It said to wear a graphic shirt about kindness. So you know what? This is my kid's size. It's about kindness. It does need, like this might be one that I would donate. It's got some, but I will sweater shave this, toss it in the washer today and look, we're gonna show our school spirit on Wednesday. Size small Fila. Oh, this is cute. I rock the heck out of these these days because they're a stretchy waist and your girl don't like nothing tight on the belly. But my kids also like to dress like mommy. So escort, that's what it is. So cute. We'll keep that one. Even though it's a seven, eh, it might fit my oldest. It's stretchy. All right, we've got Cat and Jack size 10, 12. Happy, go lucky. We'll keep that one. This is so great. I'm not gonna have to buy any school clothes next year. I will, because I'll buy my, I use, I'll use my Gap free money from stuff I send back to thread up. All right, this is my Michelle size 14. Little holiday dress with a food stain on the back. That'll get washed and to buy, sell, trade. Old Navy size 10. This is so cute, but again, this is something that needs ironed, which means my kids, it, no, it won't happen. It just won't. Ooh, this pattern looks like cabana life. Let's see if I'm right. Isn't that funny? Like the longer you do this reselling gig, you can walk through and be like, oh, I know that brand without even looking at the item. All right, Old Navy girl size eight shorts. We need shorts, but I hate the ones that have this because you, anyway, they're never right and it drives me nuts. So that will go. H&M size US what? They have so many sizes on these things, 10. Just a little, oh, that's cute. No, here's what I said was Cabana Life. Yep, girl size seven, eight. This is adorable. We always need these. We go out on our boat very often and we have a pool and a lake and it's just a thing here in Florida. So that will definitely get used. Oh, our first tiny baby, zero to three months, rabbit bear. I don't know, it's very cute looking and seem, maybe they'll take that. We've got some Old Navy Active, size 10, 12, just some simple black leggings, but these are cute. I'm like really filling up my size 10 size up and that's my daughter's next size, so 
Yay, thanks, Thread right Up. All right, children's place, size 2T, just a little dress shirt. It's not wrinkly, thank goodness, it will go. What is this? Old Navy Active, Breathe On. I love that line for personal use. Size small, 6, 7. Oh my gosh. Could I have asked for any more hip hop clothes and like I kind of needed a couple more pieces? Perfect. It's like Thread Up knew they were saying this to me. Okay, Mountain Equipment Co-op, size 4. I've never heard of that brand. It looks like, it, no, not reversible. Um, it belonged to someone named Beckett. Uh, here's what I was looking for. It is just nylon. Everything is nylon. So that will go to buy, sell, trade. Oh, these are some cute little Southern shorts. Two, uh, Carter's, 24 months. These look like old Baby Gap. They're old. How old are these? I can just tell that from that tag. Come on. Summer of 06. They are probably not going to take these. These are almost vintage status. We'll see. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Carter's newborn. Oh my gosh. So cute. Children's place size 7, 8. Another little button up. Ooh, this is a nice jacket. It's very heavy. Zero Exposure is the brand. I don't know. I don't think that's anything. Size 5, 6. That's cute. By Sell Trade, it does have coats out right now. H&M, size 3, 4. There's a little layering tee. Ooh, these are Old Navy, size 10, 12. My son loves these. He has tons of these, but he's still in a... He's 11 and a half, and he's in a size 8. His poor little waist. So these are definitely his kind of thing, but for the next size, but those feel like brand new. All right, looks like maybe two more handfuls. Y'all know I love this kind of Southern smocking or any of this kind of, this is girl size seven, cotton kids, but this kind of stuff sells. Seer sucker. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Seer sucker. Yes. We've got 90 degrees, girls, size 12. These can go. I kept the old navy ones and I preferred them over those. Ooh, what are you? This is so cute. <laughs> this is like a wool, pea, like dress coat, like a pea coat to go over a dress. But the brand is Britannical London. I've never heard of that, but there's a lot of brands like Bowdoin that come from London that are good. This says proudly made in Britain. Uh, hundred percent wool. There's no size, but this looks like my daughter's size. So I'm going to have her try it on, maybe keep it and wear it once or twice this season and sell it next. But this seem, seems like super nice. I'm also going to look it up. All right. We've got some Shein for kids, size 11, a little paper bag skirt. I don't love this brand for many reasons. However, if I can keep it out of the landfill one more time, hopefully they will take it. It does have a belt loop and it has the belt. So I'll get that situated to go in the bin. We've got Kid Pick, size five, six. Oh, that's cute. We'll keep that. Wear it a time or two to school. Another Shein, size 11, little crop. Mm, no. Oh, this is another one of these. I have it sitting right here. Arena. I don't know what these are, but these seem like this one doesn't have a, the size tag was also cut out. It just has this little tag, but here's the other one sitting here. Yes, they are like about the same size. So I will look that up. If I see a new tag. This is Guess for Kids, retailed $22.99, size four. Because that's new with tags, we're, we are in fourth quarter. I will keep that because it's cute. I like to have new with tags things in my shop. These are unique. I can never say this right. Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Yes, we have one of those here. It's very cheap. The quality of the items is pretty cheap in my opinion. We have one at Disney Springs. Great place if you're coming to Disney on vacation to get your Disney like merchandise, shirts and stuff. They always, at the one at Disney Springs, they're like $15, 10 to $15 for the whole family. Disney t-shirts, they change out, they change them out all the time. Way cheaper than buying stuff in the parks. Anyway, those will go. 
Oh, I love it. This is Justice. I love Justice. I'm sad it closed. I know now Walmart sells it. It's just not the same. All right, size 10, Mermaid in the USA. That's definitely staying at my house. I love it. Gap Kids, size 10. Oh, this is so cute. But again, like Gap is known for this type of embroidery. It's like Johnny Was-ish for kids, but it gets so wrinkly and I can't, I just can't. I get it. One of my um, girlfriends gives me clothes for my kids. That was from 09. Um, and it always comes nicely washed and folded. And so they always wear the Gap stuff one time when it's like this and then I sell it because I don't want to iron it again. All right, another Uniqlo, Sario license. Oh, Hello Kitty. No idea what this says, but it will go. We're not Hello Kitty fans around here. Nothing wrong with it. We just, I don't know. All right, this is Epic Thread size six. Another just perfect little school shirt for my youngest. This is cute. This is familiar size 90. This actually feels really nice. I think though that they are trying to dupe um, Mayoral. Feels and looks like Mayoral. Um, so that will go. This is a lettuce trim baby gap size three, a little long sleeve. I'm sure they'll take that. Get another guest kids size three. So they had it in a size three. They bought the size up in the four and never used it. But this one, since it's worn, I will, that one will go to buy, sell, trade. All right, this is it, friends, this is it. And I know this video is gonna be so long, but 50 pounds of kids' clothes is a lot. And I'll make the second half uh, short and sweet, I'll try. All right, children's place, size six, seven. Perfect for us. I love this kind of waistband. Vanilla Star Girl, size 10. Ooh, <sighs> my daughter needs a 10 for length but she's like a seven, eight in the waist. So I will have her try these on because you know, no two brands are created equal in kids sizing. We've got a little puffer jacket. This is Cherokee from Target, size 18 months. I'll see if it needs a wash. Don't think so, but hopefully they'll buy that. We got Cat and Jack, size 10, 12. Just a cute little chambray top that would need ironing so it can't stay, gotta go. Gap, size 18, stretch. Those will go, I don't know if they'll take them. Two more pieces. All right, this is Ben Sherman, size extra large 18. Again, we'll see, that is a good brand. And the last piece, oh, I know this print. This is Bowden. Let's just confirm, yes, baby Bowden. Always a solid pickup and what a piece to end up on. A size three to four years, look at this. It's like a, um, a swim, a terry cloth swim cover up, but it actually snaps up the side, which I love. Okay. So that's it. This was a great box. Like my pile of things to keep for my own kids, which is not ideal if you're, you know, just trying to make your money. But remember I spent $127. I'm going to cut, I'm going to count, fold up stuff to put in. And my wash pile for buy, sell, trade is like two. I have nothing to donate except for one pair of pajama pants and simple. They're like in new condition. They just don't have the top. This was great, even with the couple men's pieces, even, you know, I got a piece to go to Play-Dohs, I got a piece to go to Clothes Mentor, the Lily Pants. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, just a quick recap count before I head to the buy-sell trade tomorrow. I ended up with 122 pieces, which when you take into account the 127.80 I spent, brings my cost of goods to $1.05 per piece, which is the most expensive I've had for a kid's box. However, remember I got a bunch of men's larger boys and even a couple women's pieces. So it makes sense because it is by total pound. It was 50 pounds. Um, and I got mostly big kids clothes. So from size four to 10, 12, which I am totally okay with. So I ended up with 32 items to keep for my own kids. $32 for the pile of stuff I'm looking at is Fantastic. I mean, I could probably walk in and buy one of those items and sp have spent that. Now, I wanted to mention this B in Tech Sport jacket, not worth me keeping. The Arena, this actually is a pretty great brand to look out for, especially for men's and women's. It looks like they sell like competitive swimming, active wear type things. So these are for maybe a little boy that is on swim team. So I am going to lot these up and sell them. They sell for $40 a piece. 
new. So I, maybe I'll get 15 bucks or so to sell them both. And the piece I wanted to mention, this is a bolo, Britannical London. This is a very high end designer kids brand. This jacket with these gold buttons is the Kensington jacket. It is still for sale on their website for $346. Now ThreadUp didn't take it because it's missing the size tag, but I deducted from a quick little measurement. It is a size 5.6, which is my daughter's size. And since it's in season, like it's in their catalog right now, we'll keep this for this season and it'll still be just last season when I list it, probably in the springtime. It'll still be winter some places. This was the find of the box for sure. Remember, I've got some Lily. I've got, I'm excited. So stay tuned for one more second. I know longest video ever from me and let's see how much money I can make from the buy sell trade store. I mean, I am keeping some fabulous items. So be right back. All right, I'm back. I have gone to Once Upon a Child and I am so glad I made the trip across town to go to my favorite location. I was a little concerned that it would, they might not take the boys bigger sizes. There was like a pair of jeans and a couple of those dress up shirts, but they did. So I took them 65 items. And before I left my mom, she always likes, she's very involved in my business as far as she just likes to learn about it, know about it. And she said, okay, what's your goal? How much do you want to make? And my goal was to make like maybe $75 because remember my sell price for once upon a child, I try to make at least a dollar per item, but that's usually including a lot of the baby sizes. So this trip I think went so well because almost everything I had was in that like three, four or five as the smallest sizes through the, a lot of like girls size, bigger sizes. So I was very successful out of 65 items. They only did not take eight items. They took 57 of my items and the few things they didn't take. One was a Ralph Lauren, really nice button up. But when I got home and there's a stain, I've since washed it, stain came out. So I know they'll take that next time. There were two little dresses uh, that were tiny sizes. There were two pairs of shorts and the, the Hamilton weird onesie thing. Um, so those were the only things they did not take. And I sent, besides the one shirt, I threw those other things into a thread up box that I just sent out for a partner kit this morning, or else I would have showed them to you. I didn't think about that, but they were, they were nothing special. I wasn't surprised. Those were the few things they didn't take, but you guys, I made $102 and 32 cents. And that breaks down to $1 and 80 cents per piece. Now, if you remember from the beginning of this video, this, because this box had a lot of adult items, I had a dollar and five cents per piece for my cost of goods. So to make a dollar 80 back, like that's fantastic. And, um, so per usual, I did a trade in because this store gave me 20% off of one item and then no tax for everything else that I bought. So this is why I'm saying like, honestly, like what a great, th that box came into my house. I did the video, put it all in two Rubbermaid tubs, went to the once upon a child and walked home with $102. Now remember, I kept 32 items for my own kids. I had $127 into this. So at this moment, I'm out 25 bucks. However, I kept 32 pieces for my kids, including that $400 little girl's jacket. I have 13 items still to list myself. And then these items that I did trade in for, and I got a couple things to keep. I'm going to just exponentially keep increasing that profit. So that's why I like this kid, the kids box. However, you know, it is work. If you don't feel like sorting and going to the buy, sell trade, if you don't have a good buy, sell trade, we have three once upon a child's within 20 minutes of me. And this one out of the three is amazing. The other two, it depends on what day you go, you know, so they're all franchised. So there's a lot of factors. I do want to say that, but I want to show you what I picked up because even if you're not going to do the buy, sell, trade thing, if you come across these brands at your thrift stores or the bins, these are kids brands that I have no doubt I'm going to sell these things quickly. A pair of natives. Now this location, while they take the most from me and give me the most payout, they list their items the highest, which makes sense, right? Because they only give you about 30%. So I did pay $6.50 for these natives. But remember, I didn't pay anything out of pocket. This was my trade-in. Uh, so I took, they took 57 items. I had zero interest in listing and I came home with items that these I'm going to 
scrub them up with a magic eraser. It'll take me two minutes. And these will sell for at least $20 plus shipping. They are really pretty little green. I've not seen this color. I've sold mint green, but these are more like a, just a pastel green. Anyway, I found a couple other pairs of natives, but they wanted $12 for those. No, I don't know why they only wanted six. All right, you guys know Matilda Jane. Now, not all Matilda Jane is created equal like any other brand. I did pass on several other pieces because I, I looked them up, snapped one photo, ran it through Google Lens. This is an, an apron dress, a knotted, like you see the knot goes through there, apron dress. These are more sought after. These sell in the like $25 to $30 range. Um, they wanted $7 for this. So I thought that was cute. This is a brand you might not have heard of. I don't find it often. It's called Molo. This is a higher end, almost I would say designer brand in the kids world. It's quite expensive. This is a really cute romper. We've owned a lot of pieces like this. I find it sometimes on thread up or on swap or unclaimed baggage when I'm sourcing for my own kids school clothes. So I thought this was really cute. It, I don't know what it says. Probably some, an adventure maybe in French. Is it French brand? I don't know. Anyway, I picked this up to sell just because I like the brand and it will help bring people to my closet. Now I've said before, we don't find this brand often. So when I find it, I'm like, oh, it's amazing. Um, I found two Patagonia vests. I am in Orlando, Florida. Remember, it does not get that cold here. However, today it was 50 degrees and my kids left this morning and you would have thought it was snowing. This is a kid size five, six. Now this one does, I need to wash it and put it in the dryer with those balls that may, will fluff it back up. It is a little bit uh, sad looking. However, I was really excited to find this. This one, even more exciting. So this one is a size 4T. I don't know what these are. These have names. I will look it up. Like, a, is this like a retro something? But these two things are going to probably bring me maybe 50 bucks. So I am definitely going to, it's going to pay off that I bought that thread up 50 pound box. All right. Another brand you've heard me talk about, Hannah Anderson. Not all Hannah did I pick. I actually left every other Hannah thing behind except their, their pajamas. If you find their pajamas, this is a Disney collaboration. This is Rapunzel. I love her. Their pajamas are just so well made. They're thick. They're nice. Um, even if your kids wear the heck out of them, you can still pass them down. This is a girl's size six, seven. How cute. Always check the knees. That's where they will show wear. Even with wear, these will sell for at least 20 bucks, um, all day. So these are great. These are my daughter's size, but they just like to wear pajama dresses these days. So this was a great pickup. So those are the one, two, three, four, five, six items that I got specifically to flip. Now I'm gonna show you just a couple pieces I got for my own kids to wear, but I don't buy my kids things to wear unless I know I can flip them when they're done. So these are some Vineyard Vines little flip-flops. We wear flip-flops year round here. My daughter happened to need another pair. Y'all know I couldn't leave without buying some Lily. This particular store, one of the reasons I love it so much is they separate their Lily into one little rack. They do price it up though. Uh, most of the Lily today, yesterday when I went, was $30, 25 to $30, which is a great price just for personal use. This one was only marked 18 and it's in a great shape. It's that vibrant neon that I love. And this was the most expensive item I got. So I got 20% off of that because I was doing a trade in. They give you a coupon to use on one item. I also got her a Lily Pulitzer skirt. And then I picked up another pair of Hannah pajamas. This is their Cindy Lou Who. Uh, I believe this is from two years ago. Now these I could absolutely sell right now for, pro look at those knee, the knee patches, for probably $30. Um, people do family photos. We did family photos with ours before. Um, with our ducks, it was really cute. Anyway, I'm keeping these for, our, for one of my kids to wear on Christmas day this year. So, that's what I got. Um, all in all, I was there for maybe two hours. You know, if I wasn't making a YouTube video and there was a two hour ordeal and I, I'm going to, I got some cute stuff for my kids. I'm going to make profit. So this is just one of the ways I like to run my business. It's not for everyone, but because I love mystery boxes so much, the kids box definitely for our family works out. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you liked seeing this and uh, I will keep doing them. I won't buy the kids ones 
super often, maybe once a month or every other month because my kids don't need anything right now. But this box just worked out that there was a ton in their current sizes. So that was great. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Drop me a comment. Have you bought this box before? Would you buy this box? Do you have kids? No kids? I love to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.